Hey everyone, welcome again to Community Central. I hope y'all are having fun at the virtual summit so far. My name is Lauren Critchett and I am a strategist and editor for opensource.com. And I'm really excited to talk with y'all about who we are and how to get involved with the community. So what is opensource.com? OpenSource.com is a community-driven publication of users of open source software and tools. We got started 10 years ago with a small group of Red Hatters who were looking to elevate the open source community at large outside of Red Hat. Their goal was to publish one article per day that focused on open source beyond technology. This began to bring in a diverse group of writers from different parts of the world and with various levels of technical expertise and interest in open source. Now, every month, we connect dozens of, art dozens of authors with our 2 million readers. Um, so today, I'm gonna talk with y'all about how that community building and relationship building is at the heart of what we do. And at the end, I'll share with y'all ways that you can get involved, and we really hope that you do. All right, so who is opensource.com? Our editorial staff is made up of four Red Hatters, Jen Y. Kuger, Matt Broberg, Seth Kenlon, and myself, Lauren Pritchett. And together, we are editors, strategists, community managers, analysts, and writers ourselves. And then we also have a group called the Correspondents, and they are a group of 28 and growing, very active contributors. And we meet with them regularly to help us keep a pulse on what's happening in the open source community. More on the Correspondents a little bit later. But before we get into that, let's talk about what type of content um, you'll see on opensource.com. So 10 years ago, we published one article per day. Now we're publishing three or four articles a day, and that adds up to an average of about 80 to 90 articles per month. And we cover a wide variety of open source topics to help people solve their problems in the real world. So here right now, you're looking at the top 10 headlines of 2019. So you'll see that popular topics um, have to do with Linux, um, getting started with Python and other uh, open source programming languages, open source tools, DevOps, and a whole lot more. Um, you'll also see where those articles come from, whether it comes from a staff member, a collaboration, one of our correspondents, um, but most of the time they come from the community at large which I will talk about next. So where do our articles come from? Um, you know, our publication is driven by the community. So you'll see that a majority of our articles come from the community um, in our correspondence. And then we also, the editorial staff does write some articles. Um, and then we also really encourage Red Hatters to share their ideas write for opensource.com. We love to hear from Red Hatters. All right, how does our community operate? So our community really starts with our readers, 2 million monthly readers. The first time you visit opensource.com to learn about how to set up a Raspberry Pi project or um, check out a bash script or research open source alternatives, you become a member of the opensource.com community. And then our writers. Our writers are also our readers. Um, last year in 2019, we welcomed 172 first-time writers. In total, though, we have nearly 500 contributors, con contributors who are interested in actively brainstorming and writing articles for opensource.com. And then, um, did it get, digging a little deeper, we have our correspondents, and they, again, are our top contributors who um, we nurture on a, on a regular basis. And they write 10 or more articles a year, and some are even writing 20 articles um, if 
they so choose, we love to, to hear their stories. Um, so who are these correspondents? Um, out of those hundreds of contributors to opensource.com, we have these uh, 28 people um, who come from a diverse set of backgrounds, and they all come from different roles, different um, levels of technical expertise, different interests in open source. Um, so our staff communicates with the correspondents on a monthly basis with uh, on one-to-one one -one, um, conversations on video chat or email. But we also have a weekly correspondent call where everybody can get together and we are able to um, chat with the correspondents and the correspondents are able to chat with each other. And that's really been great to see um, them create friendships and relationships um, with one another and collaborate on articles, but also learn from each other. Um, but generally, our conversations are focused on how they're doing, what they're passionate about, and, and what they're going to be writing next. Because our job is to help them become better writers and share those stories and um, you know, bring those, those readers to those stories. So uh, we really love working with the correspondents. Um, so how can you get involved? You know, we, uh, um, we want to encourage y'all to you know, come check us out, opensource.com, read our articles. You'll also find a way to subscribe to our weekly newsletter. But then we also want um, you to think about writing an article. If you've written for us in the past, great. Maybe it's time to, to think of a new idea and contribute. Um, we also welcome first-time writers, um, whether you haven't written before or you've done technical writing. Um, we want to welcome you to write for um, opensource.com as a publication. And some common topics that we see for first-time writers um, are my Linux story, getting started with Python, Rust, Kubernetes, any your favorite open source tool, and a lot more. Um, and our staff will coach you through the editorial process. So, um, you know, there's no need to be worried about, you know, if you've had experience writing or not, we're going to be there to um, help make sure that it has um, the best angle for your readers. And we want to we want to be there for you to help polish that up. Um, so we welcome people of all levels of experience, all interests in open source. And we really hope to hear from you at open at open source .com. Um, you can also come chat with us in the Community Central Open Source Knowledge Sharing chat room during Summit. Um, so we really look forward to connecting with y'all and see you soon. Thank you. Bye.